You gonna come along when I feed the beast today? Oh, Drogon is about to get so many pounds of rock meat. Rock meat! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Come along. Okay, this is a humongously heavy <laughs> Jasper I found rock hounding here in Montana. I'm going to slab this thing. I don't know, make some coasters out of it. Probably. Oh, well, there's... Like some pink, some beige, uh, some blackish green. Kind of colors going across or this way, so I think it'd be cool to go across here. So we're making some sharpie cuts right across there. Okay, I've got these cuts done and take a look at that. These are some great Jasper patterns, colors. Look at all the different colors. Yellow, it's like a maroon red, some pink and peach in there. Blue, grayish color. I like it. Awesome. Another beautiful Jasper I found in a recent rock hunt. I believe I'm going to cut it across this top here where I can see the mix of red and yellow and green versus the side, which is mostly green. So my cuts will go more like this. All ready to go. Okay, let's take a look. Yes, look at this. Wow. Oh my, that is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, I am just blown away by this piece. Holy cow. All right, we've got to take a look at this guy under the microscope. Let's check out some photos. This is an absolutely stunning piece of Montana agate. Can you see that reddish brown banding right there? Oh yeah. I'd like to cut that. See if I can get some nice cuts. See how deep that 
banding goes. My cuts are going to go around the face like that, the front. Oh, I'm excited to get this one. All right. Let's check this out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, what a stunning piece of Montana agate. So nice. I just really like the face of this agate. I don't want to cut any more off of it. Just want to keep it just like this. Beautiful. Okay, check out this monster jasper. Jasper agate banding on the front and I'd like to cut it off and see if it see how deep that banding goes so I want to cut this beautiful design off the front and see if it goes deeper into this jasper rock How pretty that is. Okay, I've got it set up to go. And Drogon is going to eat its face. Because if it has some banding underneath there, that would make a beautiful polished specimen. Or I could polish the front of the rock. All right, feast, Drogon, feast. All right, well, I don't see any banding going on, so it doesn't look like it went through, but it does look like it is a nice piece of Jasper. All right, this piece, this rock that I found has some shimmer to it. So I really want to cut it and take a look under the microscope. Let's do it. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, I see. You can see this. Oh, put a little circle on it. Do you see that shimmer there? I wonder what that is. Let's take a look a little bit closer. Check out this Teepee Canyon agate. Isn't it beautiful? What I'd like to do is just cut off the very top and hopefully see that nice pattern underneath it because I'd really like to polish this and display it in my rock shop. So where that sharpie mark is, is where I'd like to cut it. 
Look at that fortification banding on there. Isn't it pretty beautiful? Okay, so I'm gonna get it set up and ready to go. This is how I have it set up to cut. Just that very front. Leave that is set up perfectly how I want it. So let's go. Oh, I can't wait to see this one. This is going to be stunning. All right, let's take a peek. Oh, so this is just the top. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, that yellow inside. It's in Tipe Canyon, one of the most beautiful agates. Oh my goodness. All right, let me slide the saw out so we can see the bigger piece. Oh my goodness, will you look at that? Wow, orange, yellow, red. That's, that middle is insane. Oh boy, when I get this face polished up, it is going to be such a stunning specimen for my shelf. I love this agate. Some of my favorite kind of agate to look at underneath the microscope. So let's look at some photos. This is a waterline Montana agate and it looks like it probably has quite a lot of dendritic action going on and these round like orbicular circles here. So what I'd like to do is cut it on the water lines and see if we can see any of that. Okay, so right around that white Sharpie line is where I want to cut. Let's set it up. Okay, here is how I have it set up. The blade, I don't want to, I'm not looking to take a big chunk off because I'm trying to preserve some of these dendrites. So just a little slice off the top just to kind of get the whole way through there because it's a little uneven. But I just want to see first what I'm looking at. All right, let's go. All right, let's take a look. I think we were able to capture those dendrites and those, oh my goodness, those orbicular circles. Cool is that? Look at those dendrites. Wow, 
What an awesome cut. Oh yeah. That is great. Let's take a look at the base of the rock. Ooh, look at this. That is right where the next water line is. Look at these circles and shapes in here. Oh, that's so awesome. I will have to reposition this and make some more cuts, but I'm running out of time for the day. It'll have to be next time. I bet every layer is going to be different. What a glorious feast today has been. I hope you've enjoyed these raw cuts as much as I did and ultimately as much as Drogon. We'll see you next time. Rock on!